Okay, um, a lot of people have been asking me um, how I built this, this bike. <coughs> um, back then I was a little more enthusiastic about it and now I can't really be stuffed because it takes too much to get going and it's not all that powerful. Um, <coughs> but anyway, uh, okay, so there's pretty much two designs you can go for. Um, chain drive or friction drive. Friction drive is where a spindle comes off the, uh, the flywheel and it pretty much mounts onto your wheel and as the flywheel turns the spindle sort of like it moves it along. You, you know, you, you should understand this but I didn't choose to do that because I wanted to have a clutch um, and I wanted to be out of sort of idle. Anyway, that never really made any difference because it didn't idle that well. Um, okay, so for the engine, um, if you're going to choose a weed eater, you want to find one with the clutch. Now this one is a Ryobi uh, Lawn Hornet. Um, it's got a clutch out the end. Now, again, this is like, you're just going to have to sort of figure this out yourself because um, the direction of which it spins, like you need to find that out. Mine spun Sorry, mine spun this way, so I just geared it up to um, to all work because um, some are the opposite way. So what you'll have to have is the jack shaft going, flip this whole assembly around, and have the the sprock going down there. I chose to have um, a jack shaft set up in the middle of here because. Um, I couldn't find a bearing that, and I couldn't find a machine shop that would machine a bearing into here, and then I could have a shaft. Um, and it was easy enough just to buy two um, bearing holders, and then put a shaft through it. Um, another thing is gear ratios. You want to have about a 17.5 to 1 gear ratio on a 20-inch wheel. Um, if you go any less than that, what will happen is it won't fully engage with the clutch and it will just heat the clutch up and probably burn it out. Um, I know that this one, you know, heated up quite a lot even with this enormous uh, gear ratio. But um, for like a 16 inch wheel, you're probably looking at a 13 or 14 to 1 ratio. My, my sprocket setup was 11 tooth to 33 tooth, no, to 30 tooth, to 11 tooth, to a 72 tooth. Now, if you work that out by um, <coughs> calculating, dividing that by that, and then you keep that number, then you divide that by that, and then you times the two, and that should um, give you the gear ratio. Um, as far as like uh, the carburetor goes, the carburetor on this one is on this side, and basically um, it's not the stock carburetor, but it's a uh, Homolite uh, chainsaw carburetor because it's got a bigger venturi. Um, what I've done is for the throttle, if I can show you. Um, it goes up to just a hand lever and there's there's a shaft right there and I sort of riveted this arm on here and then that pulls it there and I made a bracket up so that this uh, cable goes into the bracket and so in the end it looks like that and I just crimped a um, a crimp onto the wire and run it through like that. Again, this is going to be have to something you're going to have to work out because it's all different on each weed eater or a chainsaw. Um, and as I mount, how I mounted the engine was, I got two bars like that, and this is uh, angle iron. I think it's one inch by one inch on each side and I basically put them there, bolted them to the frame with uh, four bolts and then there's four screws on the on the engine that go into the engine so I drilled four holes put that in and 
it's it just misses the the clutch under there. The clutch is under here. Um, and also later on, I made this bracket that sort of twists from here down to the um, bolt there, um, the head bolt. I did an overhaul on this motor. I replaced all the gaskets um, and bigger carburetor and stuff like that. I poured it into the heads. Um, uh, stock muffler. But apart from that, it's pretty much just a stock engine. Um, fuel tank. Let me see what have I got. This was off a of steel, and basically I just um, screwed this plate onto there and then bolted it onto the frame. It's got a fuel tap, and then the fuel line runs down to the carburetor. So, um, I hope this has been a bit of a help. This is my official um, how to build a weed eater bike, so it's pretty dodgy, but um, as far as engine goes, I really, really recommend a chainsaw. Much more powerful than a weed eater. These things just don't have torque, and that's what you need to get past the, cl you know, because like, at about 20 k's an hour, this thing engages, and that's when it really feels when you really feel the power. And if you have, if you're like idling or you know, if you're going really slow, it just burns out the clutch. And you can notice it gets really slippery, slippery after like a few minutes of riding it slowly. But um, the, the sprockets I got machined out because. Um, all of them had to be machined out. This one had to be machined out to um, five eights. Yeah, five eights. Same with this one, and same with that one. Um, how you do that is you put it in a lathe by using this. You put the jaws of the lathe. There's three of them, like that. And then you go in with the drill bit. You can ask your machine shop um, expert what to do as far as that. And the back sprocket, the way I mounted that, uh, I think Brendan's done a video. Um, I did a video once, but I took it off because um, I'm not sure why I took it off. Anyway, um, basically, the s original sprocket fitted inside the two inch hole of the big sprocket. So, what I did is I got the four bolts and I bolted them through that and sort of squeeze the two sprockets together with some uh, uh, washers. Go to uh, Brendan's channel to... Brendan V101's channel to check that out because he's done a video on that before. Um, I showed him how to do it, but he probably would have figured it out anyway. Um, the only welding I did on this whole bike was, amazingly, just this clutch. I just tacked it three times right there. And I tried to keep the welding minimal because A, I didn't have a welder, and, and B, I had to ride out to um, a machine shop every time to get it welded. So I just bolted everything together. It worked out. And the, and last of all, uh, the kill switch was just a kill uh, was just a switch mounted to the frame with um, some wire going like just two wires going down to the engine. And then basically it comes out here. This should be attached to that bolt, but it's not. And then the that's to, that's to ground it. And then the uh, positive goes to the uh, small wire that comes out of the magneto, and that goes into the engine. Um, that means when it you when you switch it on, it grounds the wire and then it cuts the uh, spark and kills the engine. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, apart from that it's just a bike and I put my legs right there. This thing's uh, a bit out outdated right now because I'm going to be building a chopper. Going to have way more power and uh, hopefully be a lot more funner. Yeah, thanks for watching and I finally made one of these videos.